Have you ever wondered if you were really in love? Well, this is the test that can prove it once and for all. Do this thought experiment. Imagine you come home from work, you walk in the front door, you, 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 you go to your bedroom expecting to see your partner, but instead you are met with a note. And this note says, baby, I'm sorry. I have run off with someone else and we are deeply in love and very happy together. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you this in person, but I'm very, very happy and fulfilled with this person. I hope that you and I one day can be friends and I wish you the very best in life. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye. Now, if your response isn't, oh my God, that is so good. She done found somebody that she really loves and is fulfilled. That is great. If your response isn't that, then you had a little possessive attachment in your relationship and that ain't love. Now, before some of you guys get butt hurt, let me explain why. Love is freedom. It is the acceptance of who that person is and all the new versions of that person that you never expected to see. Now, some people say, oh, you just showed me your true colors. But the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, we are rainbows and you have to take off your rose colored glasses to see that. We live in a world where people literally say, if my partner doesn't get jealous, then they don't love me for real. That's crazy. Now look, I'm not saying I'm perfect or that I could even do that experiment and have that reaction, right? I probably would feel a little salty and a lot of sad. But this is why this thought experiment is so good to do from time to time. Because for a healthy relationship, we have to constantly evaluate, am I being possessive or am I truly loving this person, allowing them to have freedom? We have to constantly ask the question, if this person were to leave me because of a reason that would make their soul truly happy and fulfilled, would I be okay with that? Would I have peace? and understanding if that happened. Now, I told a couple friends of mine uh, this experiment, and I ain't gonna say no names, but some of their responses were like, I'm gonna get my girls and we gonna burn that motherfucker's house down. To which I said, thank you for your answer. I will stay on your good side. But the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, there are three types of love. Love if, love because of, and love, period. Which type of love do you wanna have? Peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. If you haven't joined the family yet, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and, and click that little, that little bell so that you never miss a beat. And for more insider information, challenges, and offers, sign up to my personal email list at princeea.com. And lastly, don't forget this, make each breath count. Peace.